and welcome back to our Little Woods Homestead. For those of you who are first joining, my name is Melissa and I'm vlogging our adventures on building up our homestead. Right now we're focusing on building our house and let me show you what's going on. Today we just installed the TV mount and also the brackets that will go for the fireplace mantle and we're going to be having a gas fireplace also exciting we've got all the trim and the baseboard has been dropped off along with all the doors and we're also going to be having a railing that will be for these stairs right here and these are going to be the panels for the for the, that railing, it's cast iron deer panels. There'll be two of them. And as you can see in this picture, this is what um, we're kind of, our goal is here. And this is also going to be stained a darker color. And then very exciting, we also got in the kitchen cabinets. They take up almost the whole room, but once you get the boxes off of them, they'll fit into place up there and what we're going with is rustic birch with a mist stain it's kind of like a gray stain and you can kind of see the gray there of what it will be like but if you subscribe and hang in there we'll i'll give a final showing of the whole house and do a tour this is the back of the cabinet and it's all all the front of it is being protected by the cardboard so i'm not going to take it off since they haven't painted yet and they have a lot more that they need to do before they start putting in these cabinets but the other pieces the trim pieces of the kitchen cabinets indicates to me that they did drop off the correct cabinets that I wanted. And then you'll notice over here there was a there's a hole right here and the drywallers had to find the under cabinet lighting wires. They did see it on this end when they put up the drywall. But what could have happened is that the insulate when they insulated it, they could have covered up this wire and so then the drywallers didn't see it. And that's okay. They found it. And it was actually Luke that caught that. When you're building or remodeling, I highly recommend taking pictures at each stage because he's been able to find things by looking back on pictures and even these videos that I've been um, vlogging. I thought I also wanted to show you something really neat is the scaffolding that the drywallers are, did. So they put all the scaffolding up. This is probably about five feet Feet high of scaffolding so they can do the plaster on the higher parts of the wall and the ceiling. We can go ahead and take a look at that. I'm climbing up very carefully. Okay. So this is about five feet high up and I'm going across it. They do have the propane heater on to keep it warm and help the plaster dry. Some of these boards are a little, so over here, I am so glad I'm not the person that's doing the plaster and I have a high respect for them and they probably have fun doing it. I'm not sure, maybe they're scared or not, but that scaffolding right there is going right over a stairway so it's even higher than this five feet up that we are but once they get done with the plastering 
they're going to go ahead and start working on scheduling for the concrete for the floor because as you can see right now it's just rock and we're not going to have it that way let's go across this board so you can see how high up i am so they're thinking about laying the concrete in the garage next week and what luke did is he rented a heater for next week that wouldn't be um the propane so that way we can avoid the chalkiness right now i'm just going through and showing you each room they dropped off the doors and um the the trim for the windows so um if you were with us if you weren't with us last time uh one of our concerns is that the concrete would be chalky if they laid it now and tried to dry it with propane and the contractor did talk with the subcontractor that would be laying the concrete and the subcontractor did agree and say yes that's very possible that can happen that if you dry concrete with propane heater it'll get a chalky surface and you'll have to grind it and resurface it This is the master bedroom. So again, they just dropped off the doors. But I think the most exciting part was seeing that the cabinets were dropped off. And that is about it. So that concludes our check-in for today. There wasn't really too much progress other than dropping off the materials and also getting the garage plastered and that is drying right now and then they'll put in the concrete and then start painting and all those other things so i do plan on doing a final showcase at the end of everything's pretty much installed um, other than that, I'll keep you up to date with these check-ins and any other projects that we have. We do have other projects coming up like uh, we're having um, a used bridge, a walk bridge dropped off that we'll be installing on the creek and I'm definitely going to bring you guys along with that. We have the woods that we want to put in the managed forest program and the cleaning that up and there's uh we're gonna have to order tons of trees i think we need to plant in order to be in that program and building it up per acre you have to order about 400 trees per acre so i'm definitely going to bring you along for those types of things so if that's something you're interested go ahead and please subscribe and come along for the journey with us Thanks again for stopping by. I hope you have a wonderful day.